obviously unbelievable basketball game. It seems like it always is when we when we get together. I've got such great respect for Rob, his staff, his team, uh, the way that they battled in the second half. But I was really proud of our guys. Obviously, you know, I hate it. A guy like Hornbeat doesn't play. For us, we're down two starters. Nate Johnson and Greg Tribble don't play. And I hate it for those guys that they don't get to experience, you know, the, the rivalry. It's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's unlike any game you play. Um, that's the reality of it. You know, as coaches, you like to hear us say, oh, it's, you know, next game's the most important game. You know, they're all the same. It's, uh, it's, it's such a different deal. These guys would tell you that. So I was really proud of the way we had multiple guys step up that played more minutes than normal tonight, that had different roles than normal. We had another different starting lineup with the two starters out. Um, but I thought Caleb Thornton was really good starting tonight. I thought Shamas Scott made maybe the biggest shot of the game. Gets nine rebounds. I was teasing Reek. He got one more rebound than him. That doesn't happen very often. Made a big shot. I thought Tavari Johnson's minutes were impactful. Scored in double figures. Um, you know, I, I just thought we got Amani Lyle's first half. Made a couple big plays for us. Uh, finished the one. So I just thought guys stepped up, and I and I knew that they would, and they're ready. It's a great lesson because I tell them, you know, you can't wait till a guy's injured or out and say, oh, I can see minutes now. I'm going to get myself ready. Then it's too late. And those guys have not pouted. They've had a great attitude. They've kept working. I had great confidence in them before the game started because the way that they've approached um, the day-to-day. -to -day. So kudos to those guys. Looking forward to getting Greg and Nate back, obviously. Thought we got off to a great start. Thought we were really physical. And then I thought Ali and Reek were unbelievable. I mean, you know, they're obviously, I'm, I'm biased, but they're, they were two, they're two great players. But um, they, they stepped up huge and, uh, and played like the all league and players that they are, you know, two of the best players in the country. Questions? Uh, Coach Enrique, first off, great game tonight. Uh, Coach, how, how's the team feeling? I know you talked about people being sick a little bit uh, not too long ago. How's people feeling, obviously, Greg being out? Well, Greg obviously wasn't healthy enough to play. He wanted to be out there. He's on the FaceTime call in the locker room after the game. Um, the rest of us, myself, Reek, Sammy, Ali, numerous, yeah. have been dealing with it over the last week, some a little worse than others. And uh, – some of us were able to get through it a little bit cleaner and easier than he did prior to tonight. Um, you know, obviously we're talking about tonight's game, but Tuesday's game, I told him may go down in infamy as the flu game in, in my career. I thought that those guys really stepped up in the second half and showed the character that this group has, starting with him. So, um, but yeah, we're feeling better. Um, I think we could still feel a little bit better, but we're feeling better. I got to ask, how does it feel to open up a game the way you guys did in that first half? And was that part of the plan to come out as dominant, score as much as you guys did? Um, I mean, going into every game, you kind of don't know what's going to happen. You kind of just kind of prepare. Uh, preparation trumps pressure. So I think that uh, we did a good job of what we wanted to execute in the first half. Uh, we made some good – we made we – made, Played some good basketball, got some good shots. I think we def we stepped up our defense in this first half. Um, uh, but other than that, I mean, you can't really go into the game like saying, "Oh, we're gonna go on a seven like seventeen zero run." But um, we we did it, and we you know that helped us big time in this game, especially against a good team. Yeah, Enrique, a few different guys guarding you tonight. It would go from you getting solo to you getting double teamed. Kind of explain that because it's a lot more different than what you've been dealing with this season. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've seen a lot of traps so far. Um, so I've, I'm just trying to do a good job and reading it and trying to get guys open shots. I think we had a lot of open shots tonight. You know, we didn't, we didn't get everyone to fall, but I think we did a good job executing the post trap for sure. Uh, Enrique, for you, uh, Kent went on a bit of a run in the second half. Uh, what did you guys do defensively in maybe media timeouts, different timeouts to kind of combat that offensive run? Well, they uh, they shot really well from three. So we, you know, we had to emphasize guarding the three a little bit better. I know Freeman had a few. That sounds weird saying another Freeman. <laughs> yeah. Freeman had uh, some good, good threes in transition. He was great. Uh, Santiago had one. Um, 
I just think they made big plays. They're they're great players just like us, so they made plays to get in this ball game. So as us, we have to respect it and try to try to stop them from shooting threes. And then, coach, for you in the second half, uh, you and Ali obviously got a little little heated after the call. Did you get an explanation on that? And what is it like to kind of be in a rivalry game like that? How does emotion come into play for you? Well, I mean, these guys are trying to do the best job they can. It's hard, right? It's, there's a lot of emotion during the game. In my opinion, I thought Ali's technical was warranted. You know, he's got to be smarter. But I didn't think the other one was, especially when, you know, you got a guy doing the airplane down the court and talking to our bench. Just want consistency. So either let them both go or call them both technicals. That's all. And then last one for you, Enrique. Uh, obviously, Akron Beacon Journal came out with a headline earlier this week uh, talking about Chris Payton saying that when you both are at your best, uh, that he preferred that he was the better player. Did that have any extra motivation for you coming into this game? Uh, truthfully, not really. I mean, I was just taking a nap yesterday, and I seen that. And, um, you know, I don't really – when I'm focusing and preparing for a game, I kind of stay away from social media. So I just, um, I was really just focused on executing what we had to execute tonight. You know, for me, just, you know, obviously he's a really good player. He's had a great year. He's continued to improve from year to year. I've got a lot of respect for Chris. I think he's a really good player. Now, would I trade, and, and Rob would probably say the same thing about Chris. Am I trading him? For Chris, the answer is no, unequivocally. But Rob would probably say the same thing for his guy. You know, we all love our guys. They're both very, very good players. Hey, Enrique, down the stretch, I mean, just what your mind said. I mean, they, they cut it to like three, big rivalry game, and you guys, you and a couple of the other guys always seem to have an answer for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we get put in these positions in practice. I know we, we run – seven minutes on the clock, down three, you know, got to make big time shots. So we work on it, you know, we got good players, we have good personnel, we have good team chemistry. Uh, no one on our team is selfish. We, we're willing to share the ball. So I think we just made the best reads for our team and that's what honestly got us the game today. Uh, last one for me, a lot of people, uh, Akron fans watching you guys on national television, a lot of people came out in the awful weather to make it out. What do you guys have to say to the fans tonight, and how important was that to have them in the crowd? Oh, thank you to the Rowdies. The Rowdies made some noise <coughs> tonight. I, to be honest, they made a lot of noise. Uh, shout out to all the family and friends that come, you know, on our teams. Everybody's mom, dad shows up to the games, you know, excited, static. So shout out to them. Shout out to the Rowdies. Shout out to Zips Nation. I know everybody's going to have a great night yeah. in Zips Nation tonight. Obviously, the crowd was unbelievable. You know, not only appreciation for the Akron people showing up, but the Kent uh, fans I thought were great. Um, just an unbelievable environment. I've always said it's a privilege to coach in the rivalry, and I know these guys feel like it's a privilege to play in it. Um, you know, it just was a great, great environment. So kudos to both sets of fans. Yeah, yeah Enrique, Coach Senderoff just told us that. Outside of Kent players, you're one of the best players he's ever seen in this conference since becoming a coach. I guess just what are your thoughts when you first hear that? Uh, I mean, I'm truthfully just grateful. You know, my journey is a lot different than a lot of guys. So um, for another coach to just, you know, give me flowers and appreciation, I'm just truthfully grateful. Anybody else? We good? Thanks.